evening all. I've just lathered myself in moisturizer and if I sound a little bit funny, it's because I've got a piece of wax <laughs> behind my tooth because a part of my retainer has like snapped or broken and it needs to be fixed. Oh my God, I can't even speak. It needs to be fixed because currently there's a piece of wire like jabbing into my tongue and it hurts. So I've put a bit of dental wax behind it to just like soften it until I go to the dentist on Thursday. Today I'm filming this is Tuesday. I thought we could spend another few days together because I did one last week. It ended up being like an hour long, but you guys seem to really love it. And I actually really fucking love filming it, to be honest. I haven't filmed, I feel like, I spend a few days, like, week with me in, like, a little while. Just because I haven't really been doing too much. But it seems to be all systems go at the moment. So, loving that. Well, it kind of is this week. So I thought, let me just make the most of the ball continuing to roll. And take you guys along with me. And because of that, we're having a weird sort of dynamic to the week in a sense it's a Tuesday and I've washed my hair and, about, and I'm about to tan. Normally I wouldn't do this until like a Thursday but we are going to be tanning tonight and you guys know. Have I, just, have I lost my voice or something? Like where is it? Like why is it so strange? I don't remember shouting. Anyways but we're going to be tanning tonight. This is me freshly scrubbed and moisturized. Um, I've done a few bits of work with them on like TikTok and Instagram, so you may have already seen this in action. But I'm not joking, you guys. When it comes to the Baddest Bod Tan, it really is the only one I'm reaching for at the moment, especially because, and we're probably gonna be doing it this week, I'm gonna do my ultra dark mousse tonight, and then probably on Thursday, I will do like a couple hours in the Express Tanning Mousse. I've used a few Express Tanning Mousse in my time, and some of them just do not work. You leave them on for two hours and then you wash them off and you're like, may as well not be even bothered, but not with this one, not with this one. So I'm loving this for just also like that midweek tan, you know, cause it's such a comfy formula. It's not sticky. The mousse formula is so good. I feel like the reason I love it is cause it has actually got hyaluronic acid in it. And you guys know, I'm all about everything with hyaluronic acid. It's SLS and paraben free. It doesn't smell like fake tan either it's got a really nice smell to it actually it goes on like butter honestly no streaks and it's really hydrating and nourishing i find and i find when i come to scrub it off it, it generally comes off really easily in a non-painful like really like loads of effort to scrub it off kind of way like it just kind of fades really naturally and i love that and this is an australian brand and i do feel like the aussies know their tan so it's so good and i'm pretty sure if you're an australian watching this right now afterpay is available for you guys but they do do express shipping worldwide yes. so i can constantly be restocked it's not tested on animals and it's 100 percent australian made so i'm just reading the back of this and it genuinely is also ultra dark i said this on my other content like sometimes i like ultra dark i still i like when i've left it on and i wake up in the morning i'm like yes i am ultra dark Hop in the shower, the ultra dark disappeared. This stays the same. Anyway, you'll see it in action now anyway. So this is me before. And the aesthetic of the brand is so cute. Like the mint, baby pink vibes. Love just the vibe of this brand. So yeah, this is me before. And they also have um, some glow drops as well. And I'm going to be putting that on my face tonight. So we can wake up looking like... Who me? I just woke up naturally tanned. Like <laughs> no effort was put in. But in fact, there was. <gasps> you guys, I'm watching One Day on Netflix. I don't know. I'm on episode five. Has it just begun? Pretty much. Episode five. I don't know. How many episodes are left? Oh my God, I've got loads. Oh my God, there's 14. Okay, fine. I've got loads to go. I like can't predict like where this is going. But I'm kind of really loving it. Anyway, look at this colour. Gorgeous, olivey tone. Obviously, I've got the glow drops on my face and they will be like a... We'll see the... See, see the... See the result when I wake up. Um, but yeah, time for bed now, but we are kickstarting the week tomorrow. I always seem to like to start my... Oh, sorry, did I say it was a Tuesday? No, it is a Tuesday. Yeah, it is a Tuesday, sorry. I always seem to start my vlogs on a Tuesday, but we're starting this Tuesday night, so it's actually quite late for me. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, and tomorrow we are getting up, we are going to the gym, we are sorting 
nails out. We've got a Kylie Cosmetics dinner tomorrow, which will be so much fun. Um, and then Thursday, we're going to the dentist. Yeah, we've got a lot going on this week that I think will be fun to take you guys along with. And then obviously some just like bits at home. But I've been seeing and feeling quite inspired. And I know I go round in circles. You guys are probably going to like kick me. But I have been on obviously my like exercise, like weight loss journey. But I feel like next week, maybe like vlogging. Let me know if you're interested. Vlogging like a really disciplined week. Like... I was looking at all the classes that are available on like my app of the gym that I go to and I was like I should like get up and go to them and my week is kind of free next week so I kind of want to do a really like disciplined week and I just feel like if I vlog it I'll stick to it like I don't know 6am starts every day no drinking of so I mean I don't drink every week anyway now but like you know like that kind of thing like cooking all of the meals um I'm kind of back on my food for thoughts program I've been sent like a meal plan I feel like maybe that's also like got me wanting to just like yeah I don't know like vlog a really disciplined week of like getting up and just seeing the benefits and like if I can do it I'll do my seven week hard shall I <laughs> just let me know because I have had a lot of requests for like fitness and health related videos and I just kind of feel like doing like a challenge week and it might just like get the ball rolling to like maintain it Maybe not every single day, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling now and think. Oh, hello, zoomed you in. <laughs> hello, uh, just thinking out loud. But yeah, let me know if you'd want to see that. But it's time to marinate my dairy land, and we're going to wake up and you'll see the afters of this tank. It's freaking gorgeous, and we'll be all bronzed and ready for the day. Good morning. Oh, wow. We're looking frizzy because my hair definitely didn't dry in the night. But my face is a beautiful tan color. I love remembering to like tan my face if I've got the gym in the morning. It just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable going to the gym because I don't really need any makeup. Look, I wear makeup to the gym anyway, but you know what I mean? When your face is tanned, everything just becomes right in the world, but it's time to shower to actually get ready to do that. And now I'm like showered off, I'll show you in the natural light. I'm still just this gorgeous, like natural olivey bronze, which is exactly the kind of colour I'm after when I'm tanning. So I'm like all good. I'm ready, ready for the next few days. If you guys are actually interested in Baddest Bod, um, they have, like I said, they've got ultimate tanning mousse in various shades. They've got the express tanning mousse, the glow drops, the mousse, all the accessories. Loads to choose from. So if you guys wanted to check it out for yourselves and save some money, you can use the code RACHEL. It's going to get you 15% off, but that does exclude bundles. So just add the products to your basket individually to get that discount. Honestly, I've been reaching for this. I've been loving this. I really haven't been using anything else recently. I just... Love the colour, and I feel like it's also one of those tans, even though I've showered it off, I'll wake up tomorrow and feel like a, like a little bit darker, do you know what I mean? I just love it, I love the colour, I've never really had a bad tanning day with them. It's one of those tans that when I'm like, I want my tan to look really good so I'm going to use this because they've just never let me down. And I'm obsessed and I'll feel like I'll show you more in the natural light. I'll leave that all linked down below for you guys. Is this good light? I'm just, I'm feeling very naturally bronzed this morning. I always feel like when it's natural, like you look really washed out, but I promise I'm like, just like such a gorgeous bronze color. I don't know, I'm literally just walking to my class now. I'm like two minutes from being late. But I took your guys' advice and I've got, um, I got some, I saw some tape for my knuckles to see if, if that works. So I'm praying it does. I also got different gloves that have a bit more like padding to them. So fingers crossed for me. Yep, that was the perfect combo. Different gloves with the wraps. That was a good session. Now I'm literally running to get my nails done because I left myself only like 10 minutes. And I gotta get there. So I hope she doesn't mind. Be out of breath, sweaty attire, but these desperately need redoing ASAP. The absolute state of me is hilarious, but anyway. 
before. Guys, they are perfect. I literally got the same as I did before, which is OPI bubble bath, but I got the pearly um, chrome top coat on the top. So good. God, the rain <laughs> and the working out really has not made this next part easy for me. It's time to get ready now. Time to get ready for a dinner with Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I was thinking, I have got um, a very exciting event next week. I'm actually going to the Brits. How exciting is that? Um, and I thought that would be such a fun, like, get ready with me to film as well. So a couple of video ideas for next week, like a, a week of being strict. And then a get ready with me for, like, the Brits because my dress and, like, I feel like the makeup is just going to be so fun and actually something different, like a red lip type moment. I'm actually getting my makeup done. So I feel like that will be a really fun video to film. So I'm not going to include too much of the getting ready process for the events that we're going to see this week, like for the dinner tonight. Maybe I'll film me getting dressed because sometimes I feel like when I, when I try and film like the makeup and stuff is when I end up running late. <laughs> and I'm not actually sure what I'm going to wear. So yeah, we need to think about that one. But I thought it might have been a little bit um, chaotic earlier when I was trying to show you. My nails are back to looking gorgeous and glamorous. Next week as well, a few things in preparation for the Brits. I'm getting my brows done. And I'm gonna get some lashes. Like, why not? Do you know what I mean? I'm in the mood to have like my, I just wanna like wake up and be gorgeous with like brows and lashes and that sort of thing. So a few beauty things next week that I thought, therefore I won't overload this video with beauty stuff because it's going to be loads of different things next week and I feel like a lot of the stuff I've done has been very samey. I hear you guys, so we'll do that, shall we? Because today is going to be very samey makeup. Um, it's just a dinner and I want to look cute. I'm going to um, wear... It's to celebrate the new foundation. So I'll show you the new foundation because I'm excited to try that. And it's a dinner out in Mayfair, so I think the outfit needs to be like a bit bougie. It is only a Wednesday, but I feel like in London every day is like a poppin' day. Do you know what I mean? So because I don't know what to wear, I'm just gonna like basic curl my hair tonight. Like just some big loose waves. I'm trying to think like, what was I talking about earlier that I was just like, oh yeah, when I finished the gym. Yeah, so I got some uh, tape and that was so much better. I switched up my gloves and I got some tape just I searched it on Amazon and I got the Adidas one. Um, so much better, so much better. The new, the other gloves that I got, I think were just gifted to me randomly in a PR package once upon a time, like just so random. And, but they're proper like boxing gloves. So they're really padded and cushioned with the tape, much better. So hopefully we have a little bit more success there. Thank you guys for advising me about the tape because it allowed me to really customize like the padding, I could just really like wrap it around my knuckles, which was so good. Cause I feel like, tried to say that earlier, but I was like blustering in the wind. The weather is not on our side today. I need to be mindful of that when I do my hair. Anyway, it's time to sort this absolute frizz out. I've been watching two things on Netflix. First of all, Love is Blind. No spoilers, but I think I'm on the episode where Jimmy is going to meet Jessica, the girl that he turned down cause he picked Chelsea, the one that said she looked like Megan Fox, but I think she does look like Megan Fox. In some angles, she really does, but her chin is just a bit bigger and her, she like elongates herself upwards. Like the middle section looks really like Megan Fox, but then it's the elongated bits that make people be like, no, she doesn't. But I can see why people do. And she was the one that even said about herself, like she doesn't see it like, so it's actually his fault. Cause he definitely picked her cause he thought she would look like Megan Fox. And the irony is the girl that he didn't pick, like she doesn't look more like Jessica Fox, but it's more, Jessica Fox? Doesn't look more like Megan Fox, but she is just more of that like Kardashian, or like old school Kardashian glamour. And I think that's what he thought Chelsea would look like. So they're gonna meet and I wonder what will happen there. And I'm also watching One Day on Netflix and I'm only on episode five. I think I said this last night. Um, I, I can't, don't know where it's going. I really don't know where it's going. So 
I'm really loving those two things. I finished all my Game, Game of Thrones stuff. I'm now finally listening to what is recommended to me on Netflix. I do sometimes think like, why don't I watch the stuff that's in the top 10 programs? Because it's obviously popular and it's obviously good. So that is what we're doing, but yeah. Let's do this here then, Lassie. I don't know why I do this to myself, because look, I'm just a croissant. Anyway, hair is pinned. Ooh, time for glam. I will show you the glam. Don't expect anything drastic, my sorry, Lynn, because it's me. And every time I go to an event, it's normally the same thing, except the get ready with me do that we do for the Brits. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah. Me before, and it's always at this time that I get parcels and deliveries, which I am expecting a dress to arrive today because I've been wanting it for ages, but for no specific reason. And I actually even forgot I'd turned my notifications on for it. It like was the last one on ASOS, so I just like got it. It's just like a brown dress that I'm hoping looks really cute. So we will see if that is one of the options that we could wear tonight. I am running late as per usual, but this is the outfit. Just some brown boots. This is the dress from ASOS that did actually arrive in time. And I think it's so cute, half up, half down. My little vintage Fendi that's got brown, silver and gold on it. So I've kind of done the same with the accessories. The makeup is makeuping. It's basically all Cardi Cosmetics because that's the whole point, my dear Len. So cute. Anyway, we're going to um, Mr. Nice. Oh, hello, he's a bit zoomed in. Mr. Nice in Mayfair. Never been. I hope it's a vibe, I'm sure it is. Like, wow, you guys, wow. Cheers, love. Back together again. We've got Link and Nina. Look at this gorgeous room, I can't play. Look how gorgeous the setup is for the brown rose. I really got the dress code right, didn't I, with the brown? And sorry, look what they've gifted us. Are they all right? I am shook. Is this not the best menu ever? Barata, vodka pasta, and creme brulee. Oh my God, the vodka pasta is here. I'm very excited. And we have creme brulee for dessert. Honestly, the best menu. Guys, I'm crying. I'm just home doing my makeup. What the fuck is that? What the hell? <laughs> I didn't get beaten up. Why is my lip bleeding? To be fair, you know I said at the beginning of this vlog, the brace behind my teeth has been pissing me off and tomorrow we're going to the dentist. Wow. Wow. That is... Ugh. Like, that's not good. I was literally just taking my makeup off. I was like, what the hell? Really bizarre and disgusting. Anyway, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and go to the dentist in Liverpool. So this cannot happen again. Sorry if you hate blood. Imagine how I feel I'm taking my makeup off and I'm like, oh, oh dear. National Marguerite today, today, so someone's got the right idea. We have made it to Liverpool, and finally, we're here. Hi. And just like that, we're heading back home. Got my little setup. Made a salad earlier. Pombers. Got myself a tea. And I love these cookies from my protein. And I'm back to watching one day. Finally back home in bed. Guys, I got back at 9 p.m. And we left the house at 10 a.m. So you know what that means. You get to sleep with me tonight because I missed you all day. And I don't mind. Come on. Yay, my baby boy. Oh, he, we sleep, like, when I do let him sleep with me, which to be fair, it's probably like every other night. If I don't have to be up for something, like, super early, then I don't mind that he sleeps with me and I have a bit of a broken sleep because he 
yeah, I can, it's not the end of the world. But we sleep holding hands most of the time. Because we love to cuddle. But yeah, tomorrow is a day at home, which I'm so excited about. I was actually meant to have a lunch meeting, but it's got like cancelled for literally like the fifth time. But um, we're having a day at home tomorrow. We're going to go to the gym. We are going to clean the flat. No plans in the evening. And I like couldn't be more excited about it. Like I'm going to clean, tidy, just make my flat look gorgeous, like ready for the weekend in case anyone comes over. I'm actually going out on Saturday, so like if anyone comes around for prees or like anything like that, I just want everything to be gorgeous and just, yeah, all tidy and I'm going to change my bedding and just, you know, all of those kind of things. So get excited for that. Are you not just the comfiest, fluffiest boy right now? You're so perfect. Are you going to stay there all night? All night. Oops. Say goodnight. Good night, everybody. Oh, good morning, everyone. I've, look how bronzed and gorgeous I've woken up. I did a little baddest bod midweek tan and had the glow drops again. Obsessed with that stuff. And I feel like going like, to the gym like this just makes me feel a little bit more confident, a little more, just something about a tan gives me that confidence. Anyway, we were going to the gym today. I was thinking I'll try and film like little bits, but if I'm being completely honest, last night, which is what got me so motivated, I found this girl on TikTok. Her body is insane. And she only, well, I don't think it was only recently, but like she's had a baby. Not that I've had a baby, but just in terms of like, I mean, her account and her body just like speaks to for itself. I just went in a hole of her videos. Her at is Danny Munoz, Munoz Fit. And she's posted some workouts, so I'm just gonna do a few of them, to be honest. Like some full body, like just things like this, you know? And just do a few of them. So I'll let you know which ones I do, and I can put little screenshots of how to find them and like the video from her page like on the screen after I do decide to do them if I don't manage to film anything it's a bit fun I don't think you're allowed to film in in gyms much these days like unless because my gym's not really like that like it's just a bit more like older people and a bit more of like an older crowd so if it's quiet maybe I will but then when I film it means I can't listen to music because it'll probably be on my phone and I'm not propping up I'm not gonna bring my camera because that's just another thing to bring around the gym and probably leave somewhere because I will forget. Yeah, I'm in the mood to work out. So you know when you're just feeling inspired, I got my new like gym leggings on, I'm just feeling cute and tanned. Like, who knows, maybe my husband's in the gym this morning. I've got good vibes. Anyway, cheers. Let's go. Back and in the same place and it actually kind of looks like I've done <laughs> fuck all, but did some abs, oh why am I like wet in the face? It's the sweat. Um, abs and arms today. So I will insert some screenshots of the TikToks that I copied. But very exciting parcels have just arrived. I've been sent some more lip glosses from Glow Hub. The milked one, so good. Lip liner on its own with this. Number one, it tastes gorgeous. And two, it's just got just amount, like the right amount of like opaqueness yet transparency it's like it's it's just gorgeous like if you're gonna get any of them get milk i've been using it loads and they've sent me two other shades a bit more peachy so let's try those and i ordered some made by mitchell lashes because he came out with lashes and i knew these were going to be my fave it's called junk in the trunk look at these they're like a really wispy half lash so excited to try them. I got two of them because I just knew I was going to love them. Two junks in the trunks. Um, I got two sugar sugars, which kind of just look like lash extensions. Like how gorgeous are those? Knew I was going to love them. And one Stormy, which is a little bit shorter than I probably would have in, like envisioned. But I always like to cut my lashes anyway. Uh, and I feel like they're just so wispy and fluffy that they'll make really good ones to like cut. So got one of those as well. Yeah, guys, Mitchell came out of lashes. 
amazing. Anyway, massively inconvenient. Um, look what I did at the gym. The gym, well, I don't know why I said it like that. I just chipped that nail. And I planned to film like a bit of content today. So she's very kindly squeezing me in at 2 p.m. just to paint my thumb. So I thought actually, it kind of works out. I'll get my, I'll paint my thumb. I'll come back. Actually, no, I'll paint my thumb, grab some foodie bits. I don't actually really have a lot to eat. Like, especially for lunch. And there's an MS. Oh no, I've got that. Okay, but I'll do that when I come back. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna run in and paint my nail real quick. And then I'm gonna get to like the cleaning and stuff and I might grab some gloves to wear because I'm not going in, getting my nail painted, come back to start cleaning and it just like chip again. I will be so pissed off. So I just need to grab some like gloves. I feel like you could probably get them from like boots or something. Um, but yeah, that's just, you know when, like I only got them done the other day, I know exactly when I did it as well. And I thought, I just don't know why I didn't check. Cause I looked at like the others and I was like, oh my God, like they're all fine. Me fucking thumb. So yeah, gonna do that. And then we can get to the older cleaning. Isn't it so funny? It came back, Stevie was literally just in the exact, exact same place that I left him. Snoozing away, it's a hard life being a rag doll, eh? But yeah, let's go get this thumb fixed. Got my nail fixed and you'll be very pleased to know. I went to m and uh, just like I said, I was went in to get some gloves. They had loads of really like high protein things in there that I was like, oh, this is interesting. And I did not know that they do that. So M and mini, it's literally mini, mini, mini m and <laughs> food hall pending. And also did not know that my phone sat so perfectly in this space. Ye right, okay, Mr. Driver. I wonder if I could film like a full drive with me on my phone like this. It's not ideal, is it? But I feel like the quality sometimes on my phone is still really good. But yeah, anyway, on my way home, food haul pending and anyone that's in the wanting more protein diet side of things, let me show you some fun things that I got in M&S. Back in the kitchen again, honestly. Got my gloves. Um ready to have my headphones in and just listen to music and clean um yeah so i get um their yogurt like their greek yogurt it's really high in protein and it's like the one that's like specifically good for your gut have been loving um like some greek yogurt in the morning with some honey i love their caesar salad it's so good they have these wraps which i might have now um high protein tortilla wraps 10 grams of protein in them High protein bagels, just like plain bagels. They have 15 grams of protein in. And these high protein maple pancakes, um, eight grams of protein in, but just like a fun breakfast with like, yeah, like yogurt, fruit, so yummy. And then I just got some pineapple juice, a tomato, some strawberries, some cleaning wipes and I was in, just in the mood for some pomegranate, so I got that as well. We're back on my phone because I've just set my camera up in the kitchen and completely forgot my hairdresser told me that like twice a week I should do, oh fuck it, I've left the mask in the other room. I should do a hair mask, like an Olaplex mask um, and leave it in for at least 40 minutes. So I was like, this is a great time because I still haven't had a shower from the gym. I know, disgusting, but we didn't go too crazy. Like I literally, I wasn't like at any point dripping in sweat. So it's fine. Um, and I wanna have a shower and a hair wash. So I will do the mask now. And then after we've cleaned, cause also I didn't want to shower before I'm literally about to be like on my hands and knees, like cleaning up in the dust and the dirt of it all. Not that <laughs> it's that dusty and dirty, but you know what I mean? Like just touching one of these cleaning products when I just had a shower, like what would be the point in that? So I wanted to do all of that first before the shower. So it's hair mask time. Got my trusty device to help me dampen my hair without getting in the shower. I just got this on Amazon. I don't know what you'd call it. Just like a spray, like, mist 
a misting spray, something like that. I feel like people put fake tan in this, you know, and have like spray tans at home, which I'm kind of down for that idea, I can't lie. But this is also good as well if you want to like give yourself a blow dry without like having just washed your hair, but blow drying your hair damp, I feel like is better. Especially if you use like a Dyson or anything like that. Oh, yeah, my hair is like fully wet. I'm sure it's not the end of the world. It's not all completely saturated. To be fair, I could have just gone and stepped outside because it's absolutely chucking it down suddenly, which is crazy because it was actually, it started off such a nice day today. So now it's actually perfect cleaning weather. I've got my ITV quiz shows on, even though I am gonna have my headphones in. Just put the kettle on, cup of tea, love. That is the vibe. Right, I think that'll do. What are we using? Olaplex number two. Whoa. Let's just, I always like feed it through my fingers. I feel it through my fingers. I feel it through my toes. I'm gonna brush this the real girl. These like front bits are like where I need the mask the most because I've got my little like cow slick and I feel like I'm always like styling the front bits of my hair like the most often like if I've got my hair up I'll never really style my whole head but I'll always like cut out two bits at the front so they probably receive the most heat so let's just make sure that that's all good give it a little brush right so I think the best thing to do is probably just Twirl it into a bun. I love these like satin slip scrunchies. I feel like they're way, just way more gentle on your hair. Whoa. Right. Looking like a bald egg. It's a sign of a good mask. Kettle should be boiled so we can make a cup of tea and just enjoy an aesthetic few, probably going to be like 30 seconds worth of footage of me just deep cleaning this flat to round off this week and get ready for the weekend. Tipping points on, even though headphones are going on, cup has been made, it'll probably go cold because I'll forget about it. And protect them after just getting them done gloves on oh god is this just some of the like highlights of getting older because why am i like this and i'm so excited You're not to ruin this, okay? Okay. We've showered, the hair is washed. 
I feel so clean and my flat is so clean. I can't lie to you guys. A few hours have, have passed because I really needed to charge my camera. So I thought, let me just get to editing this vlog, but I will show you my flat, of course. Now I've cleaned it. Everything is just all neat and tidy. Everything's away. Surface is cleaned. Big boys up in the corner. I've like hoovered and mopped the floor. We shan't look in there. Dun, 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 because that's a work in progress. Okay, let's pretend. And we've got the recycling, ready to go out in the morning. That bathroom is cleaned. My bedroom, it's just all tidy. Cleaned the surfaces here. Oh, won't give you a little sneak peek of my Brits outfit. I need to give that a bit of a um, dust with one of those cloths that just basically gets rid of marks i've forgotten it but tied it all up here showers clean most important thing is that i am clean but yes hope you enjoyed i don't know what we're calling this a few days at home with me although we did go to like one event but just yeah a few 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 days in the life average days in the life need to add this clip to the end of my vlog and finish it off but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video still just obsessing over like the face tan and the tan so do not forget to make the most of that discount code with baddest bod and try it for yourself if you're in the market for a new tan or if there's just something that you're not quite loving about your current tanning routine try these out I, you won't be disappointed honestly like i'm obsessed with them discount code is down below as well as the link to shop so make the most of that but yeah i'm so excited for next week and to film some videos for you guys. So let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'm definitely 100% going to do the Brits Get Ready With Me. And then maybe the week after we do that like disciplined video. Because I think that will be fun. Just get me into the routine of things. Being a bit strict on myself. I'm being good. But like let's dial it up a notch. Why not? It's my seven day hard. I think I said that at the beginning of this video. But yeah, love you guys. I will see you next week. I am so, so excited. Bye.